The case of a former model and her father, an ex-FBI agent, both now charged with murder for the killing of her husband. Their lawyers say it was self-defense, and ABC's Lindsay Janice is here with the story. Good morning, Lindsay. Good morning, George. It all centers around one fateful night at a reported argument. Now two people are accused of murder and two young children orphaned. She is a former model, her father a former FBI agent, and this morning both are charged with murdering her husband. Police say Molly Martin's Corbett and Tom Martin's killed Jason Corbett in his home last summer. Tom Martin's called 911 at 3 a.m. on August 2nd, reportedly telling dispatchers his 39-year-old Irish son-in-law was dead. There had been an argument and he struck Corbett with a baseball bat. Now, after months of investigation, the district attorney is charging them with second-degree murder and voluntary manslaughter. They committed a homicide that caused the death of Mr. Corbett. But lawyers for the father and daughter say it was self-defense. Tom was the one who called 911. Tom was the one who tried to revive Jason. He's trained in law enforcement, and there'd be no reason for him to act any way inconsistent with that, except to protect himself and his daughter. Molly Martins met Jason Corbett, a widower in Ireland in 2008, when she served as the family au pair, taking care of his two young children. In 2011, the couple married and moved to America. Immediately after her husband's death, Martins made several attempts to gain custody of his children, but a judge handing them over to Corbett's family. At the time, Martins lashing out on Facebook, posting notes given to her by the children who called her mom, and writing, it is unbearable to think of people purposely teaching you to hate the mother that has raised, nurtured, and loved you for as long as you could remember. Both Molly and Tom Martins are out on bail. They're due back in court later on this month and are expected to plead not guilty. If convicted, they could face up to life in prison. Well, what a story. It really is. Poor kids.